Оля Лукоя байк Ханс Кристиан Андерсон. Monday. Now listen, Оля Лукоя said, as soon as he got Хьялмар to bed that evening. First, let's put things to order. Then all the flowers in the flower pots grew to be big trees, arching their long branches under the ceiling and along the walls until the room became a beautiful bower. The limbs were loaded with flowers, each more lovely than any rose, and their fragrance was so sweet that if you wanted to eat it, it was sweeter than a jam. The fruit gleamed like gold, and besides there were dumplings bursting with currants. It was all so splendid. Suddenly, a dreadful hole came from the table drawer where Hjalmar kept his school books. What can the matter be? said Ole Lukoya as he went to the table and opened the drawer. It was the slate, which was throwing a fit and was ready to fall to pieces, because there was a mistake in the sum that had been worked on it. The slate pencil tucked and jumped at the end of its string, as if it were a little dog. It wanted to correct the sum, but it could not. Another lamentation came from Hjalmar's copybook. Oh, it was dreadful to listen to. On each page the capital letters stood one under the other, each with its little letter beside it. This was the copy. Next to these were the letters which Hjalmar had written. Though they thought they looked just like the first ones, they tumbled all over the lines on which they were supposed to stand. See, this is how you should hold yourselves, said the copy. Look, slanting like this, with a bold stroke. Oh, how glad we would be to do that, Hjalmar's letters replied. But we can't, we are so weak. Then you must take medicine, Ole Lukoy told them. Oh no, they cried, and stood up so straight that it was pleasure to see them. Now we can't tell any stories, said Ole Lukoy. I must give them their exercises. One, two, one, two. He put the letters through their paces until they stood straight, more graceful than any copy could stand. But when Ole Lukoy left, and Hjalmar looked at them in the morning. They were just as miserable as ever.